Ladies and gentlemen, you're following that is bout number nine on the card. This one fought under the super featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, trained by Darren Reese and the team out of Riddler's Gym. Fighting out of Perth, Western Australia, ladies and gentlemen, Iskandar Urbisinov. And across the ring is this man's opponent fighting out of the red corner, trained by Don Miller out of the Superfight Gym. This man is fighting out of St Kilda, Simon Singdongnoi Lange. When the action begins, your man in charge is Abbas Amati, both fighters concealed the ring. Here we go to the tail of the tape, Simon Lang. He's going to take it to Iskander Urbisinov. Simon is 21 years of age with a three fight, two win record. Iskander is 19 years of age with a four fight and two win record. What can we expect from these two uh, lanky fighters? Again, we see a, a, a great matchup of some very skilled gyms. We see another showing from uh, a Darren Riddler Reese boy, a Riddler's gym boy. And of course, Don Miller's super fight. So I think we can expect clean technique, yeah. a really nice tussle, and of course, the main event of our uh, Roots car, one to finish it off. Woo. And boy, has it been a good night. Uh, Hasn't it been? Absolutely. Quick. I mean, this has got to be world class. I mean, these guys are on the undercard, and the action has been absolutely non stop, relentless, and impressive. Iskander Urbisinov, right, Simon you Lang. Fighters. Yeah, do a sack behind your head, do a sack on the groin. No contact once your partner is on the ground. Check your gloves, good life. Back to corner. So final instructions in their corners. WA against Victoria. Simon Little Line Lang. Out of super fight, Jimmy Victoria under Don Miller. Iskander Urbisinov, Riddler's chief. WA Darren Reese, the original Riddler. Simon's name Sing Tong Doi, the little lion. Sing, Sing Tong, or Sing To, usually meaning lion, noi, being small. Don Miller has a lot of roots and connections to the motherland of the sport. And you can see it with his Red athletes line. and the growing abilities of the Australian fighters. I love Australians moving back and forth between here and Thailand. Not so much the case with other countries like America. It's good to really uh, wave you on the, the fight from Simon here. Yeah, almost taunting is kind of Oh, sorry, Simon, I beg your pardon. Yeah, in Thai, you would say Gwyn Din. It's uh, to kick the pants or <laughs> to sort of tease someone. <laughs> we'll both, both fighters are really lanky. Mm. Settled down a little bit as well. Yeah. And Simon oh, taking a walk there. Simon is so confident. Yeah. Mm. Iskander is uh, <laughs> hunting him down, but Simon's got the answers. It's, it's almost like a quiet aggression from Simon. It's, yeah. it's, it's a bit hard to describe. He's got this, he's got this presence about him, and I, I, I'm, lo I'm loving the start of this fight so far. An, an intensity almost. Man, <laughs> Simon is crisp. Iskander yeah. is very brave, though. Simon definitely has a fair amount of showmanship to him, something Don will have taught him. You know, these little tricks of taunting your opponent, yeah. you know, throwing your hands up in the air, they can psychologically, you know, wear, hurt your opponent. Wear at them. Yeah, wear at them. We we see a lot with high-level athletes like Yusuf Bonahem, you know, even Bukau Bonchamek, just teasing their opponents. It's a very, very good way of controlling them. Push kick from Iskander. Okay, fighters have settled down a little bit now. But Iskander has a, had a dangerous head kick there. Oh, nice left kick from him. 
And Simon gives a little nod of respect. It's about time he showed some respect because so <laughs> far he's just been brushing it off. Yeah, usually that means it hurts. So yeah. Iskander should go back to that left body kick. There it is, but the cross block from Simon. And it's beautiful to see the way Iskander is managing to keep his composure, even amongst the, the, the pressure of Simon. And like you mentioned before, the taunts, it, it can influence someone. It can cause them to make mistakes, but Iskander staying calm under that. Yeah, I like the high kicks coming in from Iskander. They have a fair amount of pepper to him. I feel like if Simon starts to drop his hands a bit, gets a bit too cocky, there's a little showmanship from him. I think he can be caught by Iskander's kicks. Yeah, absolutely. There we go, end of the that first round. One. Just to remind the ladies and gentlemen, there is a food stall out the back. Please head on down and grab yourself a feed. Also, betting is now open for all fights on the Rebellion card. Back into the action. Simon, it, it, starting off a little bit more measured, not the same way he started off that first. Again, another one of those things important for people to see at home that despite the, the, the bravado, the show that Simon was, it can influence some people, but we have to look at what Iskander is doing as well. He was guarding well, he was scoring well with the kicks. And again, it's, it's not all about forward pressure. It's not all about showmanship. It is about that effective aggression, the shots that land, the clean kicks. Yeah, and it's kind of making slow movements forward. Nice hand control into the cross from him and kicking back right away. You know, it's very important to punctuate the end of an exchange with a power shot, something you'll see in Thailand a lot, and a way to sort of eke out the win on the exchange. Nice knee there from Iskander, doing Perth proud here tonight. A little bit more power in the clinch there you see behind those knees from Iskander. Of course, the, the, the Riddler's team, Darren himself, spending a lot of time in Thailand in his formative Muay Thai years, so always come with a very strong clinch game. Yeah, definitely something underutilized and underappreciated in the Western world. At least in America, you know, the athletes here have decent skill. I'm pretty impressed so far with tonight's talent. Well, certainly we do score well in Australia. We recognize the clinch. We recognize the technique and the strength, stability, timing that it uh, takes and balance, of course. And it does score well in Australia. It's something that maybe if you go back 10 years, it might not have been recognized, but certainly well seen these days. Yeah, shows like Rebellion have really done a lot for scoring and for the culture of the sport in Australia. A real pleasure to be commentating here along with you two. Yeah, thanks for, thanks for making the trip, Matt. And we see one thing that we've noticed that I noticed differently for Iskander is there, it's, it's that teep. He's using the teep from both legs just to make better use of his distance and to set up perhaps some other shots to follow. A big difference that I see between these two rounds and is clearly starting to have an effect because while they may not seem as much damage like we just saw there from the body kick, they can wear you down. They keep hitting the belly, they wear you down and they definitely take their toll. Only uh, 20 seconds left in the second round. It's getting to breathing very deeply. Simon still throwing a lot of leather. Good oh. shots from both fighters. And just so well matched to these fights. Yeah, the quality of the matchmaking, very, very high. You know, a testament to the Rebellion brand. There we go, end of round two. That's end of round number two. One remains.
And then our rebellion fight card begins. And looking at the replay here, it's going to about to fire off, but didn't quite time it correctly. Simon getting some beautiful timing there, left with the right left. And into the clinch they go. Great knee exchange from both fighters. Beautiful left right there from Iskander. It's been nice to see the way that Iskander, he can go from playing the game, scoring with the kicks, but when the moment calls for it, yeah. he's throwing hands, he's coming forward, he's ready to fight. That's it, and he's landing great strikes too. I mean, the fact that Simon takes them so well and just keeps going forward is a testament to how strong Simon is as well. Sold out show here at Roots 19. This is the final fight of Roots 19 tonight. Soon to go to the Rebellion Muay Thai fight card. This is the third and final round. Yeah, and going into this third and final round, you saw Simon in the center of the ring, ready to go. The composure or the, you know, the symptoms of the super fight fighter, not quite there. Iskander, rather the stronger looking one coming into this third round. And you can see there's that push kick that Kieran was talking about. Be an open mouth here, the little lion. He's trying to roar with those body kicks though. Beautiful exchange. Again, we just keep seeing that 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 kick back from Iskander. It's beautiful to watch. Yeah. And, and both boys Ooh. kicking very nicely, either to the body or to the arms. But uh, beautiful to see the way that the blue corner manages to just get that score back every time. I'll tell you what, this is a fight I'd love to see go five rounds, guys, because I think that Simon's starting to gas just a little bit, and Iskander is really turning up the temperature. Yeah, the little riot lion's roars are turning into meows. Kieran like that one and nice and I like that left kick from Iskander who's really coming into this third and final round very very strong but really declawing the little lion oh nice right kick there from Iskander beautiful, beautiful. oh there's a little Gwindin from Simon taunting Iskander. Iskander and should continue to keep that body. And it's good, all good and well for Simon to taunt him, but he's breathing so heavily with his hands down. I don't know if the taunt means a lot. Oh, beautiful spinning reverse fist. Yeah, Simon showing symptoms for sure. Yeah. And yet Iskander still seems to, I mean, Iskander's breathing heavily too, but he's still firing off. There's a lot more activity from Iskander in the last few minutes of this closing round. Yeah, he's letting his weapons go. He's defending well. There, a little bit of a wince from Simon. And Iskander's still choosing to push the pace. He could yeah. easily, he, he, he clearly has the knowledge and the IQ. He could stay yeah. back. He could just try and win by, you know, one or two shots, but he's trying to, push the pace That's he's it. putting on a show he's scoring he's causing damage beautiful way to finish this roots card absolutely yeah he's looking to be the king of the jungle here <laughs> and simon's just reaching down to the bottom of the well trying to get the last drops yeah, what one, one last drop if you will that's it any bread left in that basket oh and it's all over What a performance from both fighters. I don't want to judge this. I think both of them deserve the win. Here we go to the action. And both fighters initiating, just trading blow for blow here. Beautiful push kick there from Iskander. And Iskander just kept pushing forward, you know. Simon didn't, have a, didn't seem to have a lot left. And uh, Iskander smelt that and kept moving forward. That should have been a really good scoring round for Iskander. I don't know if it'll be enough, but man, talk about heart, both of these fighters. We'll see if the little lion will roar or if Iskander will take home the points victory to Perth. That's it. And then you see Iskander moving forward, initiating. 
Some good shots there from Simon. Simon showboating, which uh, and trying to close it out with a big, with a big upper cup, but it didn't quite land. What a performance, ladies and gentlemen. What a performance. The last fight of Roots 19 will go to John Demacoli in the center of the ring for the score. All right, ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we have gone to the judge of scorecards. All three judge of score contests, 30, 27, declaring a winner via unanimous points decision from Blue Corner, Iskandar Erbizanov.